Hello dear students, let us now see how we plot uh, square root of 3 on a number line. I hope you have learned how do we plot square root of 2 on a number line. So we will be using that knowledge here in this representation. So first step is we are going to draw the number line. So here I have taken a line L and uh, anywhere I am marking a point which is representing 0, right? Now I am choosing a suitable unit. It can be any. So let me take 3 centimeters equal to 1 unit. So I am marking here 2 points. On the right hand side of the zero, you can see that each is at a distance of three centimeters from each other. Here I am taking this three centimeter as one unit. So one unit you can set as per your convenience. So this point is one and this point is two. So let us represent these points. This is A. This is B and this point is C. Right. Now, step one is we are going to plot square root of 2. For representing square root of 3, step one is plot square root of 2. You know how to plot square root of 2. Yes, you are right. At the point B, we are going to first construct an angle of 90 degrees. See how you do this. This process is clear to you. So here I have constructed a ray BY such that Angle YBA is 90 degrees. Now, we will be taking a point on this BY such that AB, let us take this AB. This is AB is one unit and B and that new point. Let this new point be P. AB is equal to BP and both are equal to one unit. So this is one unit and this is one unit. This BP is one unit. And when you join AP, you know that by Pythagoras theorem, this AP is square root of two units. You have done this. In the previous session. So uh, we can quickly recall. So AP square is equal to AB square plus BP square which is 1 square plus 1 square that is 1 plus 1 which is equal to 2. So I can say that AP is square root of 2. So we take the positive square root here because length cannot be negative. So we are going to use this AP. So I am now setting the radius as AP and see drawing an arc. Such that this arc cuts the line at a point M. And this AM is now square root of 2. From A to M, it is equal to A to P. So this is square root of 2. Right? So I can now mark this AM as square root of 2 units. Now we have to plot square root of 3. See what we are going to do now. This is a very interesting step. At M, again, 
make an angle of 90 degrees like we did in the previous representation at B we made this 90 degree angle so now we are going to make the 90 degree angle at point M so you can see that here I have constructed a ray M X this ray M X is such that angle x m a equals 90 degrees okay after that you take the one unit again so a to b is one unit so i am setting my compass the radius from a to b so this is one unit from m cut one unit on mx and this point is q now so this is one unit right now if we join a to q now you are going to tell me what is this triangle a m q what type of a triangle is triangle a m q Yes, you are right. Triangle AMQ is a right triangle. So, in right triangle AMQ, we see that O to M, that is OM, is square root of 2 units. M to Q, that is MQ, is 1 unit. And we need to see what will be OQ. And we are again going to use the Pythagoras theorem. So by Pythagoras theorem, by Pythagoras theorem, in right triangle AMQ, AQ square, this is AQ square. AQ square will be equal to AM square. Here, o, this is AM. AM square plus MQ square. What is this AM? AM is root 2. So, root 2 square plus MQ is 1 unit. So, 1 square. How do you find root 2 square? Root 2 square meaning root 2 into root 2. 1 square meaning 1. So, root 2 into root 2 is 2. So, 2 plus 1 gives us 3. So, what will be AQ? AQ will be square root of 3. So, that means from A to Q, this is square root of 3 units. So, if we have to plot square root of 3 on the number line, Again, we are going to follow the same process. That means we will set the radius of the compass from A to Q. This is A and this is Q. So, AQ is square root of 3. And then draw the arc. And this arc is going to cut the real number line at a point. And this point is N now. So from A to N, this will be square root of 3. Why? Because AN is equal to AQ. And what is AQ? AQ is square root of 3. What is AN? AN is also square root of 3 units. Is it fine? So this point N is representing root 3. Now interestingly you will see that both the points m and n, m is representing square root of 2. This point m on the number line is square root of 2 and this point n is square root of 3. Both these points they lie between 1 and 2. So 
here for your reference uh, this square root of 2 the approximate value is 1.414 and square root of 3 the approximate value is 1.732 remember one thing these are the approximate values otherwise uh, these uh, numbers square root of 2 and square root of 3 these are irrational numbers their decimal representation is non-terminating and non-repeating but here we have taken the approximate values of these uh, irrationals so the approximate value of square root of 2 is 1.414 and approximate value of square root of 3 is 1.732 i hope uh, this knowledge will help you in acquiring a new skill of plotting irrational numbers on a number line.